Underrated ice cream flavor. I would say uh, pistachio. I feel like it's like one of those that like people don't really get when they go um, to different ice cream sh ice cream shops, but it's uh, um, definitely a, a fan favorite for, for me. My name is Eric Ouellette. I am the Director of School Counseling uh, and I have been here for approximately two months. So it's been a, it's been a great transition so far. So as a Director of School Counseling, I oversee seven school counselors. Um, I also have two administrative assistants that um, report to me daily. Uh, I also have a caseload of students. I have roughly uh, 40 students on my caseload that I, um, I advise um, on college and career exploration and also in social emotional learning. Uh, I do have uh, lots of meetings uh, throughout the day looking at some of the bigger picture uh, issues going on uh, within Thornton Academy. So I attend those meetings. Uh, I collaborate with the school counselors if they have um, an issue that they're dealing with with a student and need some advice. I, they bounce it off me. I, I give them you know, my professional opinion uh, and we make decisions. Uh, but I've been very, very fortunate to um, work with some really good school counselors since I've, since I've been here. So they uh, have shown me the ropes in how uh, Thornton Academy operates. Growing up locally in, in Biddeford, um, I did uh, understand a little bit about Thornton Academy prior to coming. Uh, well, the thing that I've been most impressed with so far is its um, rich his history and tradition. And um, you know, a lot of other schools have, have lost that, that sense of community. Uh, and I believe you know, Thornton still has that. And that is what particularly drew me here. Um, I'm really excited to be able to um, get involved uh, within the school, not just with um, academics and counseling, um, but also with student life and extracurricular activities and um, getting to know the students here uh, kind of on a different level as well. Yeah, so you know, prior to uh, school counseling, I was a full-time football coach uh, right out of college. Um, I attended the University of Maine where I, I played football there um, for five years. Uh, and then I went on and got my first coaching job at Teal College, which is out in Western PA, uh, out near Pittsburgh. Uh, I spent one season there, then went on to uh, Northeastern University in Boston uh, for three seasons, where uh, I, I coached at tight ends and wide receivers, uh, was, which was a really awesome opportunity, something I really enjoyed. Um, from there, I went on to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, which is out in New York, uh, where I was uh, coaching the uh, receivers uh, out there as well. Um, that was a really cool opportunity. Uh, I coached there for three seasons. Um, and then I transitioned into a full-time uh, admissions counselor uh, while I was there. Uh, I started uh, taking my master's courses. Uh, I earned my master's degree in school counseling. And that's when I started, uh, decided to head back uh, to Maine, um, where I, for the last five years, I was the um, head football coach at Massabesic High School until I took on the role here at Thornton Academy. Uh, and now I am actually uh, coaching part-time at the University of New England, where I coach their defensive line. So, um, you know, I've spent a lot of time in athletics, but it's, uh, it's been a big part of my life and uh, something that I'm extremely lucky that I'm able to continue to do now here um, while working at Thornton. things I can't live without would definitely um, be my family. Uh, I have three kids. I have, uh, my oldest is in first grade. Uh, my, my daughter, my middle child, Hannah, is uh, in kindergarten and my youngest is two years old, not yet in school. Um, two, two of my children attend St. James School and uh, they are, are thriving there. We're, you know, are really excited that we live here um, and it has developed some really great friends. Um, 
within the Saco community. And also, um, you know, of course, friends. Um, I keep a pretty small circle, so uh, the, the friends that I do have um, are very important to me and people that I, I lean on for a variety of things. And um, it's great being back in Maine and, gro uh, and growing up in Biddeford. I, I do, uh, you know, keep in touch with a lot of people that I, I went to high school with and college and um, have kept, kept those uh, people close to me. And you know, so it's friends, family, and I would say the third thing was definitely ice cream. Um, it's a, a fan favorite in my house. My house. So whether we're going to, uh, you know, Dairy Queen or Martell's or, or wherever, um, or Fielder's Choice, uh, you know, we uh, definitely spend a lot of time eating ice cream throughout the summer. Yeah. So the, the college landscape has really changed um, throughout the pandemic. Um, colleges, the way people look, the way people look at, at, at schools, the way parents look at schools, the way kids that look at schools has really changed. And as counselors, we've had to adapt. And um, the best approach that uh, I have taken with that is getting to know each and every student individually, because every student has different needs. Um, and do I think college is for every single student um, that walks through my door? And, and that is an absolute no. Um, but, you know, some students may have um, ideas of going into the trades, they may have ideas going into the military, um, but no matter what their ideas are for after um, high school, um, we, there, there are ways to get there. There's a path. There's some sort of education that you, pro that you need to be a plumber, to be an electrician, to um, you know, do construction. Um, so how are we going to get there? Maybe it's attending YCCC or York or um, Southern Maine Community College or Central Maine Community College and developing some of those skills so that you can be the best electrician, the best construction um, person um, out, out there. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, you know, I do encourage uh, all of our students to continue their education in some fashion. So it might be a four-year institution. It might be an Ivy League school. It really depends on the needs of the students. And um, you know, if there's an opportunity for a student to join the military, um, I think that is so cool, and they could potentially get their um, college pay paid for while serving our country. I would say uh, my role model is my father. He was a, a longtime teacher and coach uh, at Biddeford High School. He uh, uh, taught math at Biddeford for uh, approximately 40 years uh, and was a track and field coach at Biddeford for 40 plus years as well as actually still doing it a little bit today. Um, I think you know the only other person that has been coaching longer than him in, in, in track and field is George Mendros so um, that's uh, it's, it's, it's nice to have that, that connection here um, as well so um, he he's, has taught me what, it, what it's like to be an educator uh, in, in a community where he has made uh, a lasting impression on the kids of Biddeford that I hope that I can have that same type of impression on the kids here in Saco. So my three favorite movies of all time, uh, I would have to say I haven't watched a, an adult movie in quite some time. I spend a lot of time watching things like Frozen 1 and Frozen 2, uh, but you know, looking back at it, some of my favorite uh, classic movies would be uh, Shawshank Redemption, uh, The Fight Club, uh, and Batman Begins. Uh, those are just, you know, movies that I think were are really fun to watch. There's a lot of action in them and uh, can keep me entertained for you know a, a few hours on a weekend for sure. Yeah, so high school football in Maine, I think is, I, I think the scene is going to continue to change. I think you're going to see more and more eight-man teams. Um, there, there are rumors that some, you know, schools close to here are potentially could move to eight-man within the, within the next couple of years. Um, and you, you're really seeing the, a, a gap between some of those top schools and and, and every everybody else. So, um, I think you're going to see. Uh, you know, some of the, the lower classes, um, classes C and D start to disappear, um, and you're gonna see, see more of the class B schools um, starting to enter eight man football for sure.
Getting to know your school counselor, I think is pro probably one of the most important things that you can do as a student here at Thornton Academy. Um, they are the number one resource for really anything. Whether you're having a bad day, whether um, you need just need some information on you know where homecoming is taking place or anything like that, we can uh, be your, your first source of information on a variety of topics. And um, we have a really experienced staff. We have staff that have been here for 35 years. We have, you know, I'm the newest staff member and then the next I believe is seven or eight years. So um, they're all very well versed in a lot of different topics. So if you need information, we can provide it and we can um, can also, you know, be an ear, ear to listen as well. Um, and someone that you, you, you know here at Thornton that you can um, lean on if you need any help.